hello friends in the present video we will see the effect of shape of footing on ultimate bearing capacity equation okay before that let me write it down the bearing capacity equation again how many times you write the equation so that you will not commit any mistake in further okay q u what is the q u it will be written as c n c plus gamma d n q plus 1 by 2 into b into gamma into n gamma this is applicable for the continuous footing this is applicable for continuous or else we can say it is applicable for the strip footing but in general we may have the rectangular footing or we may have the square footing and also we may have the circular footings also then if the shape of the footing is changes then how the bearing capacity of the soil changes okay the effect we will consider by multiplying some with some shape factor okay so let us say the effect of this considered by using shape factor so these shape factors are included in the terms that are nc nq n gamma so depending upon the shape of the footing we will find out some shape factors and then we'll fill multiply those shape factors with this constant then we will find out the ultimate capacity equation okay so let me write down a table here first shape factor for shape factor for what about for nc what about the factor for nq and what about the factor for n gamma if it is a square what is the shape factor if it is a rectangle what is the shape factor and also if it is a circular what is the shape factor if it is a square the factor for one nc will nothing but 1.3 and for nq you have to multiply with 1 for n gamma you have to multiply with 0.8 if it is a rectangle let us assume that b and l are the dimensions of the rectangle then the factor for nc is nothing but a 1 plus 0.3 into b divided by l suppose if b is equal to l then what we'll call it as square if b equal to l this gets cancel how much will get 1.3 similarly here it is equal to 1 and here it is nothing but a 1 minus 0.2 b divided by l let us assume if b is equal to l these two gets cancel then how much will get you will get 0.8 only okay so if you remember for rectangle you can find out it for square also or else you can directly remember these values so if only if it is a circular one then 1.3 for nc 1 for nq 0.6 for n gamma so this table you have to by heart it okay depending upon the footing given in the question we have to multiply with the corresponding factors okay let me write it down all those equations now suppose in the question if they have given you continuous or strip footing then what is the ultimate bearing capacity equation as it is continuous or strip footing no need to multiply for any factor so directly you can write down the equation cnc plus gamma into d into nq plus half into b into gamma into n gamma suppose if it is a square footing suppose if it is a square footing then what is the factors the factor for nc is 1.3 so here it is 1.3 c nc plus what is the factor for nq nothing but a 1 so gamma d nq this term will remains with the same plus what is the factor for i think here it is n gamma right so i think i have written nq but it is n gamma plus half into b into gamma into what is the factor here 0.8 so 0.8 n gamma 
So if we simplify this, how much will get? Your QU nothing but a one point three. One point three C N C plus gamma D N Q plus two and point eight. How much it will get? Zero point four P gamma N gamma. So this is what the square footing. What about if it is a rectangle? If it is rectangle, what is the equation? N C factor will be nothing but a one plus zero point three P divided by L. Into C N C plus for N Q the factor is one, so nothing will change in the depth term gamma d N Q plus for the N gamma what is the term one minus zero point two B divided by L. So this is the shape factor into one by two into B into gamma N gamma. So what about for circular? If it is a circular footing. What is the factor for uh, NC? One point three. So QU that will be equal to one point three CNC. What is the factor for NQ? One. So gamma D into NQ plus what is the factor for N gamma? Zero point six. Zero point six into one by two. How much you will get? Zero point three. So zero point three D gamma N gamma. So either you by heart this by heart these equations or else you remember this table. So anything you can remember. So in the Kali in the exam, uh, so either you by heart this table or else you can directly by heart these equations. It's up to your wish. So if you keep on practicing, these equations will automatically remembered in our mind. So no need to get tension. So only thing you have to remember is that while seeing the question, first we have to see for which type of footing we have to find out the bearing capacity. Okay, thank you. In the next video, we will solve some problems based on these different types of footings.